In today's video, I want to show you that if deadheading is done correctly on a rose, how it can double the amount of blooms you can get on your rose plant. Hello and welcome everyone, this is Amrita Bordeke and today we're going to talk about how to increase your blooms on your roses. This is one of the challenges I have always faced with my roses that I do not get enough blooms. And, and ever since I started using this trick, I have had so many blooms on my roses. So if you want to learn how to do it, stick around for today's video. Think about it this way. All that energy that the rose plant is generating is going into that rose hip of which will be turned into seed. But if you're not cultivating rose hips, all of that energy is wasted. We want the plant to direct all of that energy and food into creating a new growth and thus creating a bud and hence a new bloom. I usually deadhead at least once a week, sometimes even twice a week when I'm in, in the midst of a huge blooming season and my plants are having lots of blooms. There are a couple of ways to deadhead roses. A quick pinching off the rose and just removing the top off works if you are in a rose or if you're in a pinch <laughs> but I would highly recommend taking that extra time this method is not only going to help you increase the blooms on your plant but it is also going to help you increase the air circulation in between the branches and thus creating a healthy and happy plant the method that I prefer to use to deadhead the roses is to prune the old blooms off about one fourth inch above the first five leaf junction if the stem at the first five leaf junction is too thin, I go to the next five leaf junction because I want the base stem to be nice and strong so that it can support the blooms that are going to come in the future. I want to take you outside and show you how to deadhead these roses. I also want to show you the new growth that has come up on my plants from the deadheading I had done a week ago. This is the flower that has lost all the petals and I want to prune. And if you actually look, this is the three leaf leaflet and this is a five leaf, leaf leaflet. You should basically not be pruning here. What you want to do is you want to go down and prune maybe here or here. What I would recommend actually is go a little bit further down and prune maybe here. Also, you have to keep in mind you want to prune away from the tree, not into the tree. For this particular one, it doesn't ma matter so much. But for this one, the older one that I have already pruned, if I would have pruned here, it would have grown into the tree, but I pruned it at this angle so it starts growing towards the outside of the plant. This helps in the plant growing to outside and having enough room to grow like these branches rather than crowding towards each other and growing inside. This is another example of a stem that I had pruned a few weeks ago. Here's where I pruned it. And now, if you look at it, the new stem is growing outwards and it's healthy and has enough room to grow. There are three things that you're going to need today. One is obviously your clippers. Second are any pairs of gloves. I use these gloves specifically meant for rose plants. I can put a link in the description down below for all of these products. And the last but not the least, and I feel is the most important one, of course, along with the clippers, <laughs> is a spray filled with alcohol. This is, I think this is 70% alcohol. I'll make sure to add it in when I edit what is the actual percentage of the alcohol. But this I feel is the most important because as you're pruning and uh, once you're done with one plant, what you're going to do is take your alcohol spray and just spritz it generously on the clipper. Spritz it really well. 
make sure it is all covered. It's a quick way to sanitize it. You want to make sure that you are not transferring any of the diseases from one plant to another. After you're done pruning all the plants, I would actually recommend taking your clippers and washing them thoroughly with soap and a scrubber. If there's a way that you can open these up, separate out all the blades and do it, that's fine. If you don't want to go through that hassle every time, just make sure you open it completely clean, scrub all the blades and wipe it with a kitchen cloth and uh, let it dry overnight before you use it again. So next time you use it, this is clean and ready to go. As you can see, these are stained by sap because early on when I got these clippers, I wasn't that careful and I didn't clean them every time. But now, at least for the, I, I would say for the last six months, I have been doing a thorough cleaning. I still haven't figured out a way to get rid of these sap stains. I know there's a way, but I haven't been able to do that. But they are always clean when I start pruning any of my plants. I just want to make sure the cut is sharp and clean and I'm not getting any of the infections onto my plants. I hope you enjoyed this video and you can implement this. Let me know when you try it out because it is such an easy method but it works every single time and keep doing it. Keep growing more beautiful abundant blooms. Please let me know what are your own favorite tips on getting more blooms from your roses. Comment below. I would love to hear from you. And if you want to hear more of my gardening tips, let me know. I'm planning to make more videos on it. But if there are certain topics that you would like to hear, especially about flower gardening, I would love to answer your questions. If you haven't seen my previous video on the delivery I received for my garden, here's the link. Make sure you all check it out because it was such a fun delivery. I had a blast planning my garden. It is just a glimpse into what my garden is going to eventually look like. So so if you are interested, check out the link on the top or even in the description down below. I'll make sure to include the links in the description. Give the video a thumbs up if you found this video useful or inspirational. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell to be notified for all of my future videos. Thank you so much everyone for joining me today and have an amazing, amazing day. Bye bye. Hello and welcome everyone to, oh, <laughs> I usually, oh, sorry, I usually do this pruning. Can you hear the cement truck? It's been crazy out here, as you know from my previous videos. I always have these construction vehicles stopping over when I start shooting. <laughs> okay, hopefully it just goes and passes my cow. Go. Go.